Hello everyone, this is Danish from jobskillshare.org. Back again with another important topic related to IT career. Now my last video, if you go to jobskillshare channel and click on the dark side of IT support career, but don't worry, it's more like what's, what is the issue and what's the solution and how you can fix it. It's kind of like that. But in this video, I'm going to be also touching another important topic and the topic the title of this video is that you can lose your IT job any day, anytime. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what kind of superpower skills you have. And if you're working for someone, that someone can let you go anytime, any day. If you're not accepting this reality, then either you are a business owner or you are in some kind of setup that you have too much control and you can see everything what's going on in that company. Like, you know, you can actually see the future of that company. You're pretty much involved in that company. And I'm not sure, I would not consider you an IT support technician or systems administrator or network engineer then because you're something different. But if you're like a normal person who goes to a company, gets hired by someone, and then you're working for someone, then do know that the reality of this job and any other job like this is that you can lose your job any day, any time. So for people who are training you, people who are suggesting that, you know, this is the best career, we have made a lot of money in it, we are good, we are happy, we do our hard work, we are passionate about it, we love technology. Are we gonna say this? Then of course we should say it because this is the reality. So I'm going to share my personal story with you and I would like this to be kind of like a reminder to people. This is not to scare people. And this is my own personal experience. So maybe you will never see this type of stuff in your life. But this is one thing that you should keep in your mind. You know, you should reevaluate yourself all the time. After a few months, you should reevaluate yourself. So that's the whole key of this video. When I started working for one of the institute that was a nursing institute, basically it was a small institute and I was in charge of, uh, you know, maintaining all the support calls for six to seven labs equipments and there were some server setup and some of the networking setup but i had a core another like uh, corporate level it that i was working with so i didn't have to worry too much about uh, some of the uh, you know higher end stuff at that time because i didn't knew i didn't know much about it i was learning everything hands on and that's why i created this whole platform because i felt so stressed i felt like this is something that is so much that i need to make my own videos and share it with other people and that's how actually it started the whole thing started like that so just to make this this little bit short story i was actually i got comfortable over there i learned a lot i was at the position where i felt like i can do multiple things in it and i can go out and maybe i will land a more sysadmin or network level job because i was actually working on equipments now but what happened is that I got so comfortable that I started to stop thinking about it. I was like, okay, this is it. This school is pretty good. I'm just going to do what I'm doing over here. I see that, you know, they have all the issues going on. I'm sure that this is my job security in a way that, you know, that, that never, that this is never ending. So they're going to always call me. So I was going there, making money, make it, be happy. And then one day we got a call that that school is not performing well. And this is going to shut down in that city. It's going to move to another state. And then we will start calling you back again if we think that, you know, it's, uh, it's uh, possible, but it's possible. I mean, the thing is, it's like, that's like your ending right there where people uh, were told that, you know, okay, we're just shutting this place down. Now what? I mean, th this is where I was, I was uh, I'm kind of telling people that you can lose your job, whether many, many ways you can lose your, this IT job anytime, any day in a mean that it doesn't have to be uh, a business closing. It can be you making a very, big mistake by you know doing something with a firewall doing something with a server doing something where, which which will trigger your higher ups and that's it that's the end for you right there so if you want to fight that that's fine i mean you can you can tell me uh, how you're going to defend yourself from the managers and directors and the ceos and the business owners then if you have the ability then do let us know how you can do that but in my experience i don't think if you get hired like that by any company and you do some major mistakes then you're 50 50. Uh, and when, when when a business is going bad, trust me, they don't care what kind of position you hold. They don't care if you're a developer. They don't care if you are a, uh, you know, you're a super uh, man of the IT. Whatever you are, uh, if a business is going down, 
you're going to you're going to be let go. So one of the things I want to quickly share is this that I'm not getting any sponsorship from this channel. I like to watch this guy. His name is Joshua Fluke. The two videos that I kind of I made this video based on is these two right here. 550 people getting fired, 35,000 people fired. So this 550 people he actually shown a list of there. So if the list if you look at the list right there and he's showing that it's so many of them are very advanced level IT positions. And then of course the 35,000 people I don't have the list for that, but he that's something he also talked about. His channel is about it's about it's a pretty heated channel though by the way. if you go to their comments there's always some kind of heat going on people think that he's telling people to don't work don't rely on an employer he, he it, that's kind of what people are getting from him but when i see and i watch his videos what basically he's implying he's telling people to be so skillful to reevaluate yourself to be so valuable and put that self-respect in yourself that if you go to the job don't think that this company is doing a huge favor to you that they're giving you this job you are also doing a favor to the company by giving your energy by giving your time by giving your skills and that money you're getting is because of this so if you have that mentality then you're going to never feel like I'm going to lose my job. No problem. I am so skillful that I'll find another job. Or maybe I don't like this company. I already sense it. I'm going to find another job. You got to put yourself in that level. Now, a lot of people may say, oh, how can you do that in the beginning? Of course, that's something you have to train yourself, right? That's why you have trainings. That's why you have people like this and people like our, tra our platform. So many different types of channels are teaching you skills, different types of skills to quickly grow rather than relying in that one infrastructure. Now, one of the things I noticed in this channel is that a lot of people will ask him about IT questions. Now, I think he's a developer, right? So specific IT questions, I have never seen him answering uh, 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 like a, an answer that what I was looking for. Somebody says, like, what do you think about a sysadmin job? Now, I think I don't think he probably know too much about the sysadmin area or the IT help this area where he doesn't know the deep knowledge of it, right? So the, his answers are, of course, generic in a way that people think that he was, he's just telling people to just leave the, employ, you know, the whole job thing and start your own business, which we know that that's not possible for some people. So, but even if it's you're landing a job, if you're working somewhere, what I want to tell my members is to do not become so comfortable with this career. This career is not about comfort. It's about passion. You got to learn more and more and more and more and more to be at the level where you are talking and the companies are listening. Now, I'm not saying you become cocky, you become egoistic or you start developing this attitude that you think that you can do anything. Remember you are if if you are not opening your own business, you're going to be always, you know, relying on somebody else. But what I'm saying is develop certain skills that are outside of your infrastructure, that are outside of your company because you got to reevaluate yourself and you have to always think to that that this can go down anytime. Now I'm not scaring you, I'm not putting this in your mind that you should always start thinking like that. You should do it smartly. You know, you can use your common sense. If you're seeing that this company is only using let's say Microsoft on-premise servers and you're sensing that everybody else is moving to the cloud and this company is not moving then this is your mistake that you're not going out there to learn more right this is not the company mistake you can tell them to move up but they're not going to do it they're, if they don't have the money they don't have the budget they don't want to do it they don't want to do it but if they if some if one day they have to uh, they are going to go down then this means you will have a hard time finding a job outside so what, what we are saying to our members is that be skillful find more skills find more up-to-date skills go out there find or, and learn from other people very quickly smartly invest some money in the other courses you know we're not even saying our platform here wherever you feel like you have the good chances of landing a job next time if you if you lose this job so what I'm saying is that after maybe three months, reevaluate yourself and look at the job descriptions outside of your, your normal job and think that can you apply to these positions. If so many things are coming popping up again and again and you see it, let's say Azure or AWS, and you're seeing it and you're not able to, like, you know, you look at it and you're like, oh my God, I have no clue about this, then that means something is missing. 
So you got to be more active then and you have to go out and smartly learn these things before you get to the point. Now, some people may, they, they do have a really good places they're working on and everything like that. This is not to scare people, by the way. I mean, if, if a company is a good company and they're very passionate about, you know, moving and taking their employees up with them, you know, that's a good thing. And use that, utilize that. But just remember that, you know, it can go down anytime. We have an example of 550 people getting fired and we have an example of 30,000 people getting fired. That's just too clear for you. People with the common sense should really, really think about this stuff that this job is, you know, like it can go anytime. So that's why we as a trainers who believe in real information and, you know, not telling people lies that you can make money or you can make this and this and that uh, shortcuts or anything like that. There's no shortcuts. You learn it. You put your work in it. You, if you're passionate, you will always think that you're a valuable human being. You will develop your own self-respect. And when you do that, trust me, none of the imp none of these jobs uh, are going to be like where you're going to be more, uh, you know, having that mentality that, oh, thank you so much. You got me the job. And now I have to kill myself to work for you and do all that kind of stuff. No, you're going to say, I, ha I got this value. I have all these skills that I have learned, so I'm going to work over here with all my passion. But if the day comes that I can, am not getting what I want, I'm going out. That should be the attitude right there. Thank you so much.